In this video, I want to take you along with me so we can see which apps we're paying the most during Super Bowl Sunday. People say you can make some pretty good money during the big game day, but I wanted to find out for myself. And then maybe you can decide if it's worth your time. All right, guys, so as of right now, it is a 10.09. It is a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Yeah, uh, and I'm actually gonna try to do some uh, work today. I wanna do something a little bit different. So today I'm actually gonna put two apps up against each other. I wanna do at least five orders on Uber Eats and then I wanna do five orders on Grubhub just to kind of compare what five orders on Uber Eats might look like on this Sunday and what five orders on Grubhub might look like on Sunday. Granted, everything might be a little skewed depending on when these orders come in because sometimes the morning might be more profitable. Some people find that the afternoons might be more profitable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my money on the underdog i'm gonna say grubhub i think grubhub is probably going to be the busiest for me and i'm probably going to get the most money out of the orders that i do but uh we'll see so i'm going to go ahead and turn both of them on and uh we'll get this day going all right it looks like our boys over here at uber eats is wasting no time they hit me up first six dollars for ihop i don't really like ihop but this is pretty decent we're gonna go ahead and do it let's make sure we turn off grubhub so we don't get uh anything coming in hoping they got their stuff together but we finna find out honestly was not expecting them to have this ready already but they had it ready <laughs> oh man that place was crowded than a hen house off in there there was a lot of people trying to get some breakfast in but we got the first order this is going to be uber eats get ready to start delivery what we got today Uber versus Grubhub sounded like a great idea, but you guys will soon see. If I was going to make any money and not waste my day, these two apps alone just weren't going to cut it. Destination is on your left. Arrived. Right, so customer's instructions was not to knock. He met me at the door. First Uber order dropped off for today. I always trip me out those customers who tell you not to knock or ring the doorbell, but then they still have their dogs up front like in view of the window so they can see us coming. So commotion is still had throughout the house. Put your beasts away so you won't be disturbed, but is what it is looks like uber didn't come to play today i got an order coming in from wendy's yes ma'am sir this one right here is seven miles 14 dollars. we're definitely taking that one absolutely yes <laughs> and that's compared to this grubhub order that came in right here can't take this one because it's taking me in an opposite direction but i definitely would multi-op with it if i could great this clown show is holding up the line what are you ordering we moved up only to wait again I'll hit you guys back when I actually have the food. I don't know if this Wendy's was just short staff or what, but car after car kept pulling off from the drive-thru. Wanna see if another order come in? I should have just taken the McDonald's order. I had no idea this was gonna take this long. So I turned on Grubhub and it wasn't sending any orders. So I figured if I was gonna wait, I might as well wait on something that was a for sure thing. Or so I thought. I'm just gonna go because I don't see any end in sight of this. I'm wasting time. Although nothing has come in on Grubhub either, but this is absolutely insane. No one's come to the speaker box and the dining area is closed. You can't walk in to get any orders. Yeah, I'm out. See, it's one thing to be short staffed. I understand there's, there's a big labor shortage, but it's one thing just to completely ignore the line. You hear that thing in your ear. I know that little buzzing lets you know somebody's at the thing. All you have to do is say, hey, sorry, we're running behind. Just give me one second, I'll be right with you. Nobody said nothing to nobody, nothing. It's 11.51, uh, let's just say 12 o'clock. That was a good 60 years of wasted time. <laughs> let's hope the next order we get actually um, is profitable and I can actually pick it up and I won't be wasting my freaking time out here. It's crazy. All right, so why the restaurant boys figure their shit out i'm actually gonna go ahead and take this order here this is a corner shop order it's 35 dollars um for 40 items i'm six miles from the store and the customer is uh 0.7 so we're getting this one that's what i'm talking about <laughs> so while you restaurant people want to play games corner shops that put me in coach and without hesitation i drafted you to my earnings because as cute as these little challenges are i'm still out here to make money you guys will see later on in this video why i am so happy i took this order it was already a nice payout for this but the tip was insane and half of the items on this order was all in produce which i don't mind shopping because it's all in one spot all this so far is just the produce now we get to move on to the other part of this order god okay by far the biggest corner shop order i think i've done so far i haven't shopped anything over about 25 items this is 40 items waiting for the customer to approve a few things and then we're out of here the order was pretty fast. I got I got it done in about 25 minutes, but it was the checkout process. That's the part that sucks. Let's get this dropped off and see if we can get back into uh, the restaurant now. Squeeze. 
squirrely. Don't you move. You stay right there. I'm not trying to take your life. <laughs> So I'm sitting here at the parking lot waiting to see if any new orders are coming in. I do have both uh, Grubhub and Uber Eats open. The funny thing is just before I pulled in here, Grubhub said I missed two orders. Am I still there? I'm like, yeah, I'm still here. The screen was right in front of me. Like I didn't see anything coming in. So I don't know what's going on with that, but we're just trying to see if I get anything else. And even Uber, if you guys can see, says I'm in the busy zone. I find it odd that no orders are coming in from either of the apps, but we're just waiting to see which one hits us first. Uh oh, let's see what we got. We got a battle here. Uh, we got Corner Shop coming in with a seven item 12 and then we got uber finally trying to show up with 11 miles eight dollars absolutely not no ma'am sir we're gonna pass on that and it looks like corner shop is actually gonna win this one and the randall's is right over there believe it or not it's actually starting to get pretty toasty out here i have to come up out of that sweater and i'm kind of glad it also did bring me to the grocery store because i also got to use the restroom needless to say this might be my last grocery order for today my god this small little order turned out to be so freaking crazy so i call you know what let me check out i'm gonna get to the car and i'm gonna tell you guys what happened this is just madness the madness i was wondering why there was extra people out today too valentine's day is coming up so everybody's trying to rush and get a little chocolate a little strawberry balloon or something so the crazy part about this order and it shouldn't even have been this crazy i feel sorry for the customer because his head was spinning like a top um sorry i'm just trying to scanning this receipt so i can be on my way here he had to approve his uh replacement so i called him because the replacements weren't going through fast enough for me <laughs> and um he kept saying i was like hey this is corner shop um am i can i speak to whatever his name was and he was like yeah i thought you guys were gonna call next week i'm like no your grocery i'm thinking to myself no your groceries are coming right now and before i could even say anything he was like yeah i'm sitting in the middle of the dentist's office i'm about to get called in and his dentist came out and started asking him like well what were you here for can i get your card they're going back and forth about his insurance They're like okay hang on just sorry i'll be right with you i'm like okay cool and they get into like this crazy argument and then he kept telling me well, yeah um is it possible i can get your direct line so i can call you back next week i'm like i'm about to finish this order out whether you like it or not i'm gonna just either refund all your replacements or take it to the register and check out you let me know how you want to do it and again before i could say anything to him his dentist comes back so are you gonna keep that bluetooth in or are you gonna come sit in the chair with me he's no i keep it in it's gonna be in your way i just never had a client who had a bluetooth in while i was doing uh cavity work and he's in like you can hear the guy he's like yeah so um it shouldn't be a problem right the guy's digging in his mouth he's like you've been eating chocolate have you don't lie to me i'm like you know what i've had enough of this i just hung up the phone approve the replacements that seemed decent and i'm gonna go drop this mess off this is crazy <laughs> and then the person that was in front of me gets in the express lane with about 30 items I, am I think it's safe to say my day has officially started this is what i'm used to and i blame myself because i should have hung up a long time ago i felt like it was on one of those hidden prank shows i just wanted to see how long this was going to go on like they kept going back and forth they said like, you should be you should have my insurance card i already called and made my appointment and gave all the stuff to the receptionist he's like geez i should have did a yelp review before i came here <laughs> like what what is the it was weird it was weird it was wild i wish i could have recorded but i think that would have been much too much of an invasion of privacy but my god um i think after this i'm just gonna let the restaurant orders bring me what they can because i need a i need a break the, the grocery stores are crazy right now you know how this shit go you know all eyes on me roll up in the club yeah, right. It always amazes me what I find around town when I go to certain neighborhoods. Who would have ever thought this 18-foot giraffe was sitting in the middle of someone's yard? Keep Austin weird, I guess. All right, so at this point, I turned off Corner Shop just to kind of reset my brain. And I have Uber as well as Grubhub running. We'll see which one of these actually give me an order first. But I mean, if the grocery store is the only way I'm going to make money today, then the grocery store is. Like I said, I got to make money money. <laughs> well, here we go. Speak of the devil. We got Grubhub coming in. Better not be anything crazy. Yep, it's something crazy. Miles to earnings ratio, not good at all. So this one be going back into the fish pond. But Uber said they're not gonna play any games. Here's one right here, $4, well, $5 for two miles. We'll take this one. Is that that thing from Stranger Things? Not the lady, I'm talking about like the flower mouth thing. I mean, she might be from Stranger Things, who knows? It looks like every Uber order that I've taken today has come with the wait time. I think that was about a 15 minute wait. Um, I just went ahead and waited for it. So uh, now that we have it, let's go ahead and drop it off. 
Okay, to drop this order off, this is four for four. Actually, we'll pass on this, see if we can get something a little bit better. We're gonna be smack dead right in the hot zone and not sending me any orders. So I might have to turn on a corner shop to see if I can get something because not even um, Grubhub is sending me an order. So I thought it was gonna be much, much busier. Right now it is 3.11. I'm gonna give it to maybe about 3.20 to see if any restaurant orders come in. If not, we'll see what the grocery store can do. As soon as I say something, here comes good old Grubhub. Let's see what you got. This is McDonald's, uh, two miles, well, 2.7, let's say three. Three for six, we'll take it. In that McDonald's, we have history. But this McDonald's, that was the second place I ever picked up my Uber Eats order from and started this whole crazy journey. It's pretty strange. I mean, I'm in a hot zone. I'm not getting anything from any one of these apps flipping between them. Um, you can see that I have Grubhub on, ready to take orders. And I'm also here on Uber Eats, finding trips. So right now across the top, it looks like it is 3.37. I'm going to probably be here to about, let's say 3.40. If nothing comes through, then I'm turning back on Corner Shop. Okay, we got an order coming in here right now. This is six miles for $4.00. Hard pass. Shut up. <laughs> Have you also noticed that the order that you don't want, it rings forever. It never goes away. But the ones you do want, you kind of try like, let me just take another look at it. It just jumps right off your screen. It's three, it's 340. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. See if one of these restaurant apps will give me something worth turning this car on for. So far it doesn't look like it. Well, grub hub of the grouch. I thought today actually was gonna be a lot busier than this, but uh we're still sitting here with not one order from you or from Uber Eats. Ah, shut up! I guess we're in halftime because nothing is coming through. I just turned on Corner Shop. We'll see if they actually send me an order because it's not like there's anything I can do. I can't make people order food, but um, this is the part that sucks. Oh Lord, we finally got something. This is Applebee's five for three. Looks good to me. So right as I dropped this order off, I got another order coming in from a restaurant called Canva for about $5. I have to be honest, I was expecting a lot more higher paying orders, especially considering it was Super Bowl Sunday. Maybe it was just the restaurant apps, I don't know. But once I got there, of course, it would be a problem. The order for this customer was not in their system. So I had to head back to my car, call Uber, to call the restaurant, who of course never picks up. So Uber fumbles again. This was a waste of time coming over here. They stay in line and did up. I'll be right back, okay? Cool. Ordinarily, I would just use the menu option and cancel out of an order like this, but seeing how touch and go these orders are, I was calling in to get some kind of compensation. That whole music gives me anxiety. When I first started Uber, I was calling them just about pretty much every day, it seems like. While I was waiting for Uber Eats to call somebody that was never gonna answer, I got two orders come in at the same time. Corner Shop came in first, it was a $24 order for seven miles, and then Grubhub came in, it was $13 for seven miles. Grubhub, though, wanted me to order and pay, not something I like to do. I don't know how y'all do shit where you from, but let me tell you something, where I'm from, we don't do shit like that. And another thing I like to keep in mind when I'm choosing between the orders, Grubhub, that is the final total. I don't know if they increase the tip later. That's something I've never saw with any of my orders, but Corner Shop, with this $24 order, I have a possibility of getting a tip, which is gonna make this order much more worth it. Plus, if I never did this order, I never would've ran into this other Corner Shop shopper who had some great tips on how to better select your orders from Costco. But basically what you can do, like if you have a Costco, you will see how much the order is worth. It's just worth like $40, the average Costco item is about seven bucks so you know you're not going to have more than six or six items so you know you'll be quickly in and out the only thing else with costco is that because there's not as many costcos per square area you may have a longer distance of a travel later and like he said also there's a zip code that they're finally starting to put on there so you can kind of guess what's going on so anyway that's another tip that's a good tip nice to meet you my friend all right you too Take have care. a good one it's always cool to meet some other people who actually watch the channel and do the same work we do they have sometimes better tips than even i do secondly customers when we say something is out of stock do you think we just like playing this game like this yeah there are no bagels in that section what do you want? Refund or substitution? I don't have all day. So this customer finally accepted that there were no cheddar bagels in the bakery section and opted to go ahead and get a refund. The destination is on your right. Arrived. 
Though at this time it was a little after 5 and Grubhub was starting to pick up. But the orders they were sending me, I had to reject them because the miles were just way too high. Now we know Grubhub has that weird contract violation. That was me rejecting two orders back to back. And then a thing came up and said, are you still there? As it did earlier in the videos I mentioned to you guys. When that happened, what I normally do when I hit two uh, missed things or two rejections, I turn the app off, I go do another app and then come back to it. And it seems to uh, reset me. I don't know if that's a glitch or what. But anyway, we got an Uber. Oh yeah, we're taking this one an uber order coming in right now this is six dollars i'm sorry seventeen dollars 77 cents for six uh six miles let me take this for freaking uh lose this and you're talking to y'all there's two pizza places one's uh pizza make a right turn then make a right turn you know what? it doesn't matter let's go make this right turn so the first pizza place was located inside of the convenience store and i was happy to see right as i walked in the order was ready to go i then sent a message to both customers to let them know that i was going to be doing a double pickup in this area and thank god i did because when i got to the second location it was about a 15 minute wait before the wings and pizza were going to be finished wax on wax off wax on even with all that explanation, I still got a text message from the second customer asking if everything was okay with their order. So I explained to them once again the situation and that their order actually was not ready when I arrived, so we had to wait just a little bit longer. To me, that's always a weird message to text the driver to ask them if everything's okay. What if everything's not okay? What could either one of us do? I can't make them make it any faster. We're at the mercy of them and that oven. I much more respect the message of, I'm hungry as hell, bring me my food. Where you at? <laughs> Just hold tight. It's on the way. But I gotta drop order A off first. Sorry. But we can't be too mad at Annette because that note right there, that's what we like to see. I was able to wait in the car and they actually came down and got it. So this order is now delivered. And just as I was pulling out of that complex, two competing orders were coming in from Uber Eats and Grubhub. Screenshot this because uh, it was coming in so fast. So Uber was sending me an order. It was two miles, six dollars, not so bad. But Grubhub ended up sending me this right here, four miles, ten dollars. I only have to pay, don't have to order nothing. This is the one we're going to go for. So at this point, I couldn't even tell you which app was in the lead. I felt like I was working each one of them about the same throughout the day. All right, guys, so we're gonna be ending the night here at 6.58. Might as well go ahead and say seven o'clock. Funny part about today, even though there was a lot of time in between orders, it was still pretty busy. And I'd be interested to see what all of this um, added up to. Well then, let's head over to the scoreboard and take a look. Grubhub came in with two orders for $16.66. Uber Eats, five orders for $38.72. But the real MVP goes to Corner Shop. This $32 tip brought these four orders to $30.96. Give it up for the rookie of the year. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more videos, like this where we do the battle of the apps just comment below like this video and if you are new we always welcome new subscribers to the congregation until i see all you guys again i'll catch you on the next one peace and just a heads up if you're looking for more gig life related content don't forget to check us out on tiktok and youtube stories also be sure to check out our merchandise in our amazon store links for everything can be found in the description box below we thank you in advance for your support